and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be taking a look at the uh, Wolf expansion. Now something I want to quickly mention is that, uh, oh, excuse me, uh, is that you see here there's BP. Now, uh, you may be a bit confused about that because no other add-on, at least in this list, uh, has BP at the end of it. Now this is probably a mistake on the, uh, on the, uh, Creator's end because um, basically BP is short for behavior pack. If you go to the resource pack, you'll see Wolf Expansion RP for resource pack. So usually, well, you might want to use these for like it, use those two, they link for like, um, you know, to, so you can distinguish them when you're doing stuff behind the scenes, but that, but most add ons just remove the BP and RP. Uh, after they release it, just because, but this, yeah, so if you're confused about why it says BP there, that's why it's just a mistake that's been left in. Maybe they might remove that in the uh, next update, maybe not, I do not know. Um, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter whether they do or don't, it's just an uh, interesting thing that I just tried to point out. I need my keyboard, I don't know why I left it there. Now he's just killed up in the centre of the carpet, looking at me. Just... Anyway, uh, so there was... Two, um... Two different uh, wolf, uh, like, dog uh, add-ons uh, released to this uh, week's, uh, uh, in this week's drop. So, uh, I'm reviewing one this week, and then if there's a bit, if the drop for next week, or today, later on today, is not good, then I might do another one, uh, you know, in, uh, to fill out the, you know, to, because I might not have enough content, you know what I mean, yeah, anyway. Welcome to Wolf Expansion Add-on, the features of each wolf. The wolves are randomly spawn in every biome. To tame wolves, you need to right-click with bone, beef, mutton, chicken, salmon or cod, cooked or raw. So there's the bedrock rule, wolf, strong and loyal, attacks hostile mobs and follows you on less sitting. So let's just get, well, it says that you can tame... Did it say chicken? I'm pretty sure it did say chicken. Yeah, chicken. Cooked and raw. So, I have a ton of cooked chicken. So, I'm just going to grab a few stacks of this. And let's show off the bedrock wolf. So, I'm going to leave all that. Anyway, some bedrock. This is what it looks like. You feed it to tame it. There you go. Now it's sitting. And the uh, let's summon another one in here. How do you breed them though? Do you need do you still need bones to breed them? Hold on. Give at key bone. Two. No? Hmm. Might go around to that later. Maybe you can breed them. Oh, also. Give. Happy wolf. Armor. Can they wear wolf armor? No. Hmm. Okay, that's a bit disappointing. There's the Breeze Wolf. If the player is nearby, it grants the slow fall effect. Oh, that's cool. So let's get you two to sit down. Some Breeze Wolf. So we got the Breeze Wolf. Tame you. That's gonna go. Oh, hello. I have ten Golden Wolf. Oh, you're cool. Got mushrooms going on ya. 
Uh, next up is a cursed wolf. Drops eggs every 30 seconds. Why does it drop eggs? Also, yes, you can see here, slow fall and fall. Anyway, some... Actually, yeah, I can do that. I can do that. Cursed. Cursed wolf. Oh, wow, that is cursed. Okay. I don't want to look at that anymore. In the hole you go. And let's forget that it ever existed. Uh, diamond wolf. To give a to get a diamond wolf, you will have to have have to give twenty diamonds to the wooden wolf. The diamond wolf will give you three diamonds every. Oh, so I need to summon. So let's summon a wood wolf and give it twenty diamonds. So let's tame you. Give at the diamond twenty. And now it's a diamond wolf. It still says it's a wood wolf. Which is a lie. It is clearly diamond. So yeah, uh, uh. The diamond wolf gives you three diamonds every 120 seconds. So that's every two minutes. That's three diamond, three, three diamonds. You can put, you can probably get a bunch of these, put them on a, uh, Hopper and go AFK over and I think you get a bunch of diamonds AFK. And then there's the Ender Wolf, a uh, mystical wolf uh, with uh, the appearance of an Ender Dragon uh, that uh, will uh, make you feel like you're on uh, the Isle of End. Some... Like a bear. End Wolf. Ender Wolf. Nom. It looks more like an Enderman than an Ender Dragon. I guess it does have a spine, like the spine of like an Ender Dragon. But it looks more like an Enderman to an, than an Ender Dragon to me. And there's the Ghost Wolf. Ghosts that tame the classic dogs. Dog. Ghost tame. Fe oh, Fiend! God damn it, how did I misread that? Fiend, classic dog. I think what they should do is make it so that uh, um, you get a ghost wolf if your dog dies. Also, I just noticed they're all shaking their heads. It's a bit creepy. Then we have the uh, Giant Wolf, a formidable ally with powerful attacks. Giant Wolf. Oh, that's a big doggo. Oh, he's a good boy. He's a good giant boy. That's actually about, about the size of my house. Hold on. Look, let's get you closer to my house. How big are you compared to my house? Come on. He does not want to move. Like, nah, I stay here. Come on. I'm having trouble getting. Oh. He teleported. I've already used Now he unloaded. I thought he teleported for a second. I'm having trouble getting them to move. Hold on. Do what about the bedrock wolf? Okay, the bedrock wolf at least teleported to me, but I don't know why the big one 
just refuses to do anything. Anyway. Then you have the Ice Wolf, a cold wolf with the appearance of ice to protect you from hostile mobs. This. That's a cool rule. That is cool. I do like the designs of the dogs, so. Except for like the Ender Dragon dog, like I said, it looks more like. Oh, there you go, I've got three diamonds. Uh, it looks more like an Enderman than an Ender Dragon, except with the, the only thing like Ender Dragon about is the spine. But yeah. Still a cool design. Uh, I, Iron Wolf for, for just 6 Iron Ingots for every 120 seconds as it fights. So I guess if it's hostile towards something, for a, it'll count down from 120 seconds. And then when, and then when it's uh, gone all the way down, then it'll give you some Iron Ingots. Yeah, it's a wolf that looks like iron blocks. Uh, next up is the lava wolf. Ignites enemies with fireballs and grants fire resistance. Some hold on, I keep getting lava. So you probably find these ones in the end. Uh, never, sorry. Or just around lava pools, probably. Maybe. Right, let's see if we can bring them over here. Let's some um, Vin. Vinny. There you go. Oh, god damn it. Why do they. Why do you destroy the dead? God damn it. Every time I. Um, Mod and Adam does this, I always complain. Don't make them destroy the environment! Fair enough for like creepers and ghasts. And all that, and now you and now you're adding wolves that, that destroy you the Destroy your base if like something spawns in it. Uh, eyes, iron, lava, light wolf brightens your path without attacking. Ah, so it's a passive wolf. Light wolf. Oh. It's just a wolf with a, uh, with a lantern on its back. That should be an item you can give them. Right, what they should do is they should remove the light wolf and replace it with just like the light, the like uh, wolf uh, lantern item and then you just attach the wolf lantern item to any of your wolves. Like, come on. Uh, I went way too far. Ocean Wolf for, provides water breathing in an aquatic environment. Ocean. Ocean Wolf, take me by the pool and leave me alone. Anyway, it's doggo, but it looks like water. I mean, having a water breathing doggo is not a bad idea. Because that, especially if you're living around the death. Water, which I assume this doggo spawns in. <sighs> ah. Then we have the ore wolf. Rewards that kill us with ore or boost your mining speed. Or. So if I summon Vinny again. Um, Vin, <sighs> Vin, 
Get back here, you coward. My wife got out. I one shot the um, because I'm so powerful. Oh, wait, I'm still in creative mode. didn't give me anything. You just giving me haste though, because I'm way too far away from the beacon to give me haste. Oh, is it my armor that's giving me haste? Might have just been my armor. Three, two, one. Yeah, it was just my armor. Let's summon... I don't know if I'm going to... Be able to kill Vinny without my armor, but let's give it a try. <laughs> oh yeah, I managed to do it. Before you got me, you might have one shot me. Still nothing from you. Could just be this world is a bit buggy and because sometimes this world breaks add-ons in weird ways that I can't recreate, like the uh, Tinker's Construct add-on. That broke in a very weird way. So it could just be that, but I don't know why that's not working anyway. Rainbow Wolf, a uh, colourful companion in a battle. So it's just a so it's just a colourful wolf. Rain Rainbow Wolf. I don't really like that one. Yeah, no. I, d I don't like this wolf. Like, why did they have to make its the main colour, the like two of the worst colours, yellow and pink? Like, purple's fine, but there's more pink than purple. And you have, like, lime green, which isn't a very nice colour, and it's but purple, and it's like, ugh. It, it looks like someone took a wolf and then just dumped a bunch of different paint buckets over its head, and now it looks like this. Doesn't really look like a rainbow wolf, just... Yeah. Well, that was disappointing. Uh, then we have the uh, skeleton wolf. A bony brute that helps in combat. Boom. Oh, I know, skeleton wolf, not bone wolf. Why did I think it was bone wolf for a second? Then? Why does it. Uh, I guess it has less HP because it's a skelly. Yeah, that's why I imagine a skeleton wolf would look. Mm. Not so much the tail, actually. The tail looks a bit weird. But everything else looks. Fine. Uh, then we have the slime wolf. Boost your jump while attacking enemies. Some slim limb. A slimmer boy. Yeah, it looks like slime wolf. I mean, if you expected something different, then I don't know what you was expecting, but it definitely wasn't what you got, but I don't know why you'd expect anything else. Uh, what else do we have here? We have the TNT wolf. TNT. One, two. I didn't even read what the TNT wolf does. Uh, blah, blah, blah. TNT wolf launches harmless TNT at hostile mobs. Harmless, you say. If this destroys my land, I'm going to be annoyed. Come on, Vinny, get in here.
They didn't launch TNT at all! Just bit him! Also, yeah, you heal them up with food. I think I said it earlier. Pretty sure. Uh, lava, lion, ocean, grab a bass, lion, TNT, warden wolf. This wolf, uh, which looks like a warden, will protect you from hostile mobs at all cost. Wow. So you're the wolf mascot of this game. Let's see what you do to Vinny. Well, that was disappointing. They couldn't even defeat a single Vindicator. They didn't do anything for you. Oh, that's a bit lame. Then we have the Witch Wolf. It's a wolf with a witch hat. And purple and pink paws and dies. Uh, cast potions at hostile mobs like a witch. Uh, let's see what you summon do to Vinny. I didn't see any potions. That's odd. I have to test it out in another world, but could like I say could just be this world being a bit buggy, but I don't know. anyway, next up with a wolf high health with a themed classic dog. Yep, with a fiend classic dog. That, eh. I, ex I expected it to be a bit more like the skeleton wolf. I mean, it does have like the ribs coming out of its side for some reason. I don't know. Could have been cooler. And we have the wolf caller, which we saw earlier that I tamed. I health a steady guard against hostile mobs. Yeah, that was. Where is he? This the guy, uh, this guy with the grass growing on him and the mushrooms. Who want more diamonds? Uh, then we have the Wolf Mount High Health offers a swift ride across the lands. The Wolf Mount. Big, big but not giant brown doggo. Eh, yeah, not too bad. I was nowhere near as quick as I am with my armor, but this armor is super OP, so... Yeah. It's a little bit hard to control, because there's just like a bit of delay. Between... Why is he going backwards? I was... I pressed D and it's like, oh, I'm gonna go backwards now. And now he's doing it with A. Weird. It's not, it's not, I'm not even pressing DOA this time, it's just, it's, I don't know, that's not very good. If you're just going to be riding around, it's like, now nah, I'm going to go over here now, it's not very good. Uh, mount, the wooden wolf, harvest eight oak logs uh, for you every 30 seconds while we're defending you. Some wood. We saw this guy earlier. He's a doggo, but looks like wood. And then, last but not least, zombie wood. 
Wolf undead and underdying in your defense. Zombie. I fat fingered it. Uh, looks, looks more like a wolf with moss growing on it than a zombie wolf. And they have special items. Wolf Totem. Summon three random wolves to aid you in battle every use. So let's go craft that then. Wolf T. Wolf Totem. Eight bones around the Totem of Undying. I think it's a totem of undying in here. Got one of these chests. Here we go. It'd help if I grab the right thing. One, two, three, four, 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 five, six, seven, eight. One wolf totem. There we go. Let's go over here and say you're uh, being attacked by a uh, Vindicator. Vin. <coughs> oh no, I need help. Doggos, protect me. Okay, they don't contain you. You have to actually tame them, so it's not very good in the heat of battle. We did get three dogs. We got the Iron Dog, TNT Dog, and the Golem Dog. Get there, my doggos! Yeah! Here we go. So, what's next up in the item list? Uh, there's the wolf hat, enhance the vision and the, the speed of on nighttime exploration or quick escapes. Wolf hat. It's uh, white, uh, four white, two light grey, and a saddle. And not saddle, whatever. Four white, two light grey. And the one lever. Yeah, there is. Oh, I actually got two. Here we are. One wolf hat. So let's put this on and take the rest of my armor off. Wolf hat looks cool. I like it. So the wolf hat gives you speed, free, and night vision. Pretty cool. Yeah, I forgot about the loud noise. Really should they should really turn that down. It nearly deafens me every time I have to take my arm off and put it back on. Alright. Next up is Wolf Potion. Bolster your strength and mining efficiency temporarily. P -O. Wolf Potion. Eight bones around the water bottle. Eight bones. Uh, Glass. Bottle. Uh, there's no water in here. 
Tell me a second, I'm gonna have to go up here. There we go. Go over here. Come on. I just, I could have sworn one of these. Well, apparently, it doesn't like. There we go. Just didn't like it being a half waterlogged half slab. Here we go. And down we go. And one wolf potion. So I'm gonna need to take my arm off again. Great. Oh. Alright. Oh, and you use it and you get haste two and strength two for thirty seconds. That's that's decent. It's there's only eight bones and a bottle. So it's not super expensive. It's also not super good either. So it does only last for thirty seconds and then last up Excuse me, it's the wolf claw. A formidable weapon uh, for the uh, fiercest of fighters. Wolf Claw. So it's free leather and free iron. One, two, three. And I already have one leather on me, so I only need two more. One, two. There we go, Wolf Claw. It does plus five attack damage, and that's it. How much does an iron sword do? I don't have any iron swords on me, so give that P I won sword. Iron Sword does 6 attack damage and it uses one less iron ingot and only uses one stick instead of 3 leather. Why would you craft this? Like, come on. It should at least be... So there's 3 iron ingots. It should be at least... Like, 9 attack damage? Maybe 10? Well, that would, that would make it better than a diamond sword. Oh, wait, can you enchant this? I mean, I don't know why you'd want to make this, but if you do want to make it, can you enchant it? I'll also check the helmet while I'm at it. Nope. Can you check enchant the helmet? Nope. Why would you make this over an iron sword, which if you enchant it, uh, can it be as good as a diamond? Can like be better than a diamond sword, I think. I'm not exactly sure. It's been a while since I've checked how much damage a sharpness 5 iron sword does. But yeah, I think that's everything in this add-on. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's craftings. Oh wait, there's food bowl, water bowl, wolf bed, wolf ha wolf house. I guess in the other stuff is just uh oh there's wolf dagger and wolf guy. That's this. Uh, yeah. Uh, what totem? I'll check out the wolf dagger real quick. So bone and stick. So two bones and a stick. It's basically a uh, bone sword. I assume everything else is just um, decorative. Yeah, wolf dagger. Does 12... Why does this do 12 attack damage? 
and this only does five. Like what? That makes no sense. Like this should, a, a wolf dagger should do as much as say a, an iron sword. I guess, anyway. So my final verdict is, yeah, it's got some cool new doggos, but I feel like they could have done more with, oh, he's just spitting out a bunch of wood now. Anyway, uh, I do feel like they uh, they could have done more with this concept. They've not even like had breeding and there's no baby doggos, so that's disappointing. Um, some of the designs are a bit lacking. But some of them are genuinely good. Um, I feel like if they gave the year dogs more attack, you know, more made them more unique, like made the ender dog, uh, uh, te you know, teleport around as they're walking, or made I made like the giant dog like have really low barks, and they don't make it uh, like have like really noisy footsteps and stuff. Yeah, I just yeah, I just feel like is, they could have done more with this concept. Like maybe there'll be an update in the future, and they'll uh, they will make these dogs more unique. But right now, as it is, for the most part, with the exception of some unique abilities, uh, they're just um, you know palette swaps. But yeah, I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. I hope to see you guys in the next video. And bye-bye. I forgot to go into full screen. Bye-bye.